Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the three signs and symptoms of shock and how to help a person who is in shock. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. The word shock can describe several different situations. Medical shock happens when the body cells do not get enough oxygen-rich blood. It is not a disease but a result of an illness or injury. A person may also feel shocked when they experience something unexpected. This shock is psychological and usually does not cause any medical problems. Although many different problems can cause medical shock, its symptoms are often the same. Medical shock is always an emergency. Without treatment, shock may cause permanent organ damage or death. The term shock may refer to a psychologic or a physiologic type of shock. Psychologic shock is caused by a traumatic event and is also known as an acute stress disorder. This type of shock causes a strong emotional response and may cause physical responses as well. Your body experiences shock when you don't have enough blood circulating through your system to keep organs and tissues functioning properly. It can be caused by an injury or condition that affects the flow of blood through your body. Shock can lead to multiple organ failure as well as life-threatening complications. There are many types of shock, based on what has affected the flow of blood. All forms of shock are life-threatening. If you develop symptoms of shock, get medical help immediately. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. What are the signs and symptoms of shock? If you go into shock, you may experience one or more of the following. Rapid, weak, or absent pulse, Irregular heartbeat, rapid, shallow breathing, lightheadedness, cool, clammy skin, dilated pupils, lackluster eyes, chest pain, nausea, confusion, anxiety, decrease in urine, thirst and dry mouth, low blood sugar, loss of consciousness. What causes shock to occur? Anything that affects the flow of blood through your body can cause shock. Some causes of shock include severe allergic reaction, significant blood loss, heart failure, blood infections, dehydration, poisoning, burns. How is shock diagnosed? First responders and doctors often recognize shock by its external symptoms. They may also check for low blood pressure, weak pulse, rapid heartbeat. Once they've been diagnosed with shock, their priority is to provide life-saving treatment to get the blood circulating through the body as quickly as possible. This can be done by giving fluid, drugs, blood products, and supportive care. It won't resolve unless they can find and treat the cause. Once you're stable, your doctor can try to diagnose the cause of shock. To do so, they may order one or more tests, such as imaging or blood tests. How is shock treated? Shock can lead to unconsciousness, breathing problems, and even cardiac arrest. If you suspect that you're experiencing shock, get medical help immediately. If you suspect that someone else has gone into shock, call 911 and provide first aid treatment until professional help arrives. First aid treatment. If you suspect someone has gone into shock, call 911. Then follow these steps. 1. If they're unconscious, check to see if they're still breathing and have a heartbeat. 2. If you don't detect breathing or a heartbeat, begin CPR. If they're breathing, 1. Lay them down on their back. 2. Elevate their feet at least 12 inches above the ground. This position, known as the shock position, helps direct blood to their vital organs where it's most needed. 3. Cover them with a blanket or extra clothing to help keep them warm. 4. Check their breathing and heart rate regularly for changes. If you suspect the person has injured their head, neck, or back, avoid moving them. Apply first aid to any visible wounds. If you suspect the person is experiencing an allergic reaction, ask them if they have an epinephrine auto-injector, EpiPen. People with severe allergies often carry this device. It contains an easy-to-inject needle with a dose of a hormone called epinephrine. You can use it to treat anaphylaxis. If they begin to vomit, turn their head sideways. 
This helps prevent choking. If you suspect they've injured their neck or back, avoid turning their head. Instead, stabilize their neck and roll their entire body to the side to clear the vomit out. Medical care. Your doctor's treatment plan for shock will depend on the cause of your condition. Different types of shock are treated differently. For example, your doctor may use epinephrine and other drugs to treat anaphylactic shock, blood transfusion to replace lost blood and treat hypovolemic shock, medications, heart surgery, or other interventions to treat cardiogenic shock, antibiotics to treat septic shock. Can you fully recover from the shock? It's possible to fully recover from the shock. But if it isn't treated quickly enough, shock can lead to permanent organ damage, disability, and even death. It's critical to call 911 immediately if you suspect that you or someone you're with is experiencing a shock. Your chances of recovery and long-term outlook depend on many factors, including the cause of shock, the length of time you were in shock, the area and extent of organ damage that you sustained, the treatment and care that you received, your age and medical history. Can shock be prevented? Some forms and cases of shock are preventable. Take steps to lead a safe and healthy lifestyle. For example, if you've been diagnosed with severe allergies, avoid your triggers, carry an epinephrine auto-injector, and use it at the first sign of an anaphylactic reaction. To lower your risk of blood loss from injuries, wear protective gear when taking part in contact sports, riding your bike, and using dangerous equipment. Wear a seatbelt when traveling in motor vehicles. To lower your chances of heart damage, eat a well-balanced diet, exercise regularly, and avoid smoking and secondhand smoke. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids. This is especially important when you're spending time in very hot or humid environments. Shock is a life-threatening condition. It occurs when the organs in the body are not getting enough oxygen. Causes of shock include severe blood loss, dehydration, and a cardiac event. It is important to seek immediate medical care for any symptoms of shock, even if they are mild. If a person is in shock, the first step is to call 911 or the local emergency number, even if the symptoms are mild. While waiting for the medical team, first aid treatment can be done. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.